Okay. Uh, this is alright. <laughs> Wait, we're at the credits. Whoops. Credits are amazing, okay? I mean, I like the music, alright? But we're kind of reached the end of the game already, yikes. Uh, so. Hey. <laughs> welcome Yo, to. Yo! Welcome to Untitled Goose Game. I'm sorry for interrupting you. This is at least <laughs> part of the bingo card on the intermission. <laughs> uh, I'm. It's. <laughs> alright. This is, uh, yeah, Angry Tanak Rikult is here with, uh, he's a goose man himself. Uh, huh? <laughs> first time ever trying to run a bingo fun here, so this is gonna be a bit interesting. <laughs> Do we just get it started? Feel free to reveal your card, like, right now. Uh, uh, oh, now? Okay, I thought about the honk. I mean, you need some time to uh to look at it but definitely start up the game right now all right all right let's yeah reveal it uh now all right i started count I, what i'm lost all right <laughs> so three two one go all right uh so goose game is all about being a goose and all right hold on <laughs> and being horrible. Uh, lock the ground, skip the garden, don't use any glitches. Uh, I see opportunities. Don't All right. No, lock the ground, skip the garden, bring at least three mobs, bring five to the model village. Mm. Yes, yeah, so while, while you're routing uh, right now, so Untailed Goose Game is all about going to f uh, through four areas, doing a number of tasks that you need to do uh, by being an annoying goose to the to the NPCs over there. And grab the bell and get all the way to the end. There are some glitches in this game. You can see that on the top of column 4 there is a don't use glitches thing. Well, don't use glitches, that's basically just don't clip through items. But if he's gonna do that, I don't know. I'm, there's I'm sure. <laughs> Okay, there's a lot of tasks and... I mean, uh, yeah, there's so much that you don't need to do glitches for, but obviously I'm not the router. I oh. see some things like score a goal. That one is annoying. Cause, or it, it's not annoying, it just takes a long while. Bring five items to model village. That one... Doable. I don't know what Snowdog is going for. I'm, I'm hopefully... trying to figure that out myself here. Uh, okay. They're also spread apart. They are. Uh... Uh, yeah, hold on. What? Alright, you know what? We're, we're gonna get through this. We got this. This bingo card is also up to your own interpretation. For example, in the top of column 2, hoard 20 items anywhere. For example, you can see that there are 10, uh, 10 carrots in the top right of your screen in a little bit. I mean, if you unplug all of those, yeah, then that's at least 10, 10 at the same spot. For example, also, we locked him out. That's a good thing. Ah, oh, poor Will. He, he has to look <laughs> at... Let's look at all of his things. Yeah, wait, that's locked him out of the garden. That's actually a... Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. Oops, nope, there we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, the... I didn't even see that was a thing. Yeah, all right, ten. Uh... We're gonna, we're gonna put 20 items in this bag, all right? I mean... <laughs> If I have to be the judge, the whole like uh, brown patch that it that is acceptable for me. So you can even use the pumpkins. All right, that's twelve and thirteen. But we created this bingo card like really early into Untitled Goose Game's lifetime, like back in two thousand nineteen, and even though it doesn't have any updates, it's still pretty recent. Other than or like up to date other than two things uh missing uh like multiplayer yeah. for example but then again this is not a multiplayer game just now yeah all the pumpkins will make it 18 then uh i'll just do we get butt that. carriage no 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 butt carriage you really want me to mess with that here <laughs> oh no 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 <laughs> 
little, little wiggles, all right? We, we need to get up. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, poured 15 items in any location? That's already done, actually. Oh, really? Uh, There's R20 anywhere. Oh, come on. Water and can. Water and can. Water and can. Yeah, we did it. Wait, uh, well, right. hoard, hoard any 20, uh, 20 items anywhere. Uh, anything about garden, 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 garden. Uh, nope, can't find anything else. So let's let's bring Wooly back. Hey, hey, Wooly. <laughs> you want your keys? So every NPC in this game has some priorities, and even though he was watching for the like first keys. Or for the the carrot that he saw misplaced. The <laughs> thing is, his keys are a bigger priority, and now he's gonna put everything here. So, and if you get him closer to something, means that he'll prioritize things closest to him that has that is on the same like priority scale. For example, instead of like doing all the things back normally now, he is uh, yeah, he really wants to plant that rose again, which is one of the tasks. All right, we're and, doing everyone's favorite. Yeah, you do might need to guide him to the straw hat, I think. No, no, that's he a bigger priority. It. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can do all main tasks on garden. Oh, oh, that might take a little while, though. No, I did. I, I just need to do the picnic and everything's already like in one area. Just need to <laughs> No, the cabbage is not even important. The this cabbage is not important. That is true. I keep forgetting that. 100%. Yeah. I hate it. <laughs> you hate it? Whoa. <laughs> There's a reason why I have the slowest time on the leaderboard, alright? <laughs> so, all main tasks. That basically means... No, I should probably go uh, a step back. For the any percent glitchless category, you need oh, to no. do all the tasks in one area, except for one that you can choose which, and every area has one, uh, like, collection task, and the picnic here is one of those. So it's best practice to, uh, yeah, just skip those, but in all main tasks, which is a slightly bigger category, but only slightly, but definitely more engaging than any percent glitch list, because... Glaciers don't really do anything other than cutting out the end, uh, the end chase, all the way through the four areas, all the way back. Whereas with glitches, you can just go through a fence. And that is why, after this run, Odok, because of all of your charity, is going to do a any percent run, not a 100% run. <laughs> <laughs> don't let me suffer. It's not suffering if you like it. Ah, uh, you do it. <laughs> okay. Oh, sure. But I'll wreck the <laughs> schedule in that case. Uh, wait. I grabbed the furnace. What? What's? What's? Wrong button. Carrot. Oh. Furnace? Just need the carrot and the radio, and the radio is a little bit of a. Right there. The rake is not in the lake yet. So, get it ready in chat. Oh, and a picnic basket. I think. No. You don't need a picnic basket? That's... we dragged us two sandwiches. Oh, we do need it. Haha! <laughs> uh, I wanted to what? say, my life was a lie. <laughs> well, as the picnic gets put together... You have a twenty dollar donation from Swedish Jesus, one of the runners of Toho Lunar Nights, for twenty dollars, saying thanks for having us, folks from the TLN community. It's been a lot of fun taking part. Good luck to all the runners. That does put us over seventeen hundred dollars. We are tantalizingly close to two thousand. Thank you again for your generosity. Now back to goose activities. Well, we wait all this moment, right in a rake and lake. Oh, wait, it in... in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it already counted? <laughs> Suspense oh, for nothing. Such a uh, moment. 
we've been waiting for. Oh, he did clean up almost everything. It was definitely the moment I just waited, and it's just, ah, uh, you already did it. But thanks for your donation, and I really want to see 2k before the end of the marathon. That would be cool. People we were still, we excited. Still have, and that was yeah, good. We still have like nine hours. Uh, alright, how long did this take? Nine minutes? Oh boy, I mean, estimate's 23. Yeah, we're good. And that is all main tasks there. Was there one to take a straw hat? Uh, no, good. No. Mm. So, if we're going to look at row three, complete three tasks while wearing the ribbon? That's gonna be easy. Bring the shops tomatoes to the pubs. Oh. I mean, I just have to bring at least three more. Ah, come on. This is a bit. Bring the shops tomatoes together with the bring pubs. Two of the model items to the, to the original. Boy and TV score, sock. To, nah, that's okay, fine. so it's better to just. Okay, Hi. this is completely doable. Row free. Uh, wearing the ribbon, bring tomatoes to the pub. Yeah, the pub thing might be. The pub thing's doable. So this is partly in any percent glitchless uh, run right now. Ah. Uh... Oh, the broom is in the way. Ah! No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the child has fallen. Oh, he got his own glasses. Alright. Where is the airplane right now? Uh, dropped it in the middle. Oh, okay. Damn you, child. Uh, bring the boy on TV. That could be possible. Trip the burly man five times. <laughs> it just took it out of its hands. Actually, hold on, hold on. You forgot to put him in the telephone box, didn't you? I have a good idea. All right, ready? Diagonal. Bring the soccer ball to the model village. Get the boy in TV and trip the burly man. Actually, we can do that while we try to do row furry, if possible. I'm just trying to think of more options we have. If I can squeeze behind the child. Right. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Yeah. So the fact the somewhat final task you want to do is throw, bro. <laughs> Let the kid buy the thing back. Oh, get the boy on TV. Is that the thing you're going for? Yep, yep, yep. Go, child. Go, go, go. Yes. Almost! Go inside! Can you go inside or is it the, the telephone person? This counts if you ask me. I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing to say this would count. Did Aquana test this out? I don't think he did. Oh! Get in there! Get in there! Did he get in? He got... He crossed over the line, I would say. Okay. Oh, okay. That, woo! Yeah. The, <laughs> oh, he got on? Okay, sure. That counts. Yeah, look. He, he's crossing the halfway <laughs> point. Come on. Oh. Children. <laughs> uh, now, now he needs to go back. And by the thing, by the airplane. I keep saying thing. It is a thing. It's his thing. Oh, it's kicked it there. Whoops. Oh well. 
So, yeah, we're gonna now do this. Actually, uh, ooh, wait, wait, wait. No, there's nothing about tripping the child in the pu uh, puddle. It's just don't use glitches. Mm hmm. That's the wrong button. Do you ever just accidentally hit honk? <laughs> Alright, so... Like, say no. once in the blue moon, but no. I don't. Get out of here, child. Alright, oh, I grabbed a toy. So, let's bring the football over to the next section. And then we can just bring it over for... Uh... The miniature place. Yes. Can we not fly? <laughs> All right. Actually, there is one score goal. Ah, no, because that's. Oh boy. There's some. They're all kind of spread out and hard to decide a good path. I guess that's the point of it as well. <laughs> Oh, so you're going for column four right now? Bring two of the model items to the originals, all hidden tasks. That one is quite long. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just bringing the ball... Uh, because then we can probably do diagonal. Bring the soccer ball to the model village. Bring two of the model items to the original. And then trip the burly man five times. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's even better. Oh yeah, if we do that, then we can do glitches. That's actually good. Well, because that'd be good. Right? Yeah. I trust it. Alright, let's go. So with the glitches, what we can do is grab the hat, clip it through. I don't think the glasses are possible with that. Whoops. Oh, this is not good. How did he grab the pipe? Like, okay. All right. Um. Hmm. 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 All right. We need to dress the bust. Actually, before we do that, we put the ribbon on. That could be... Yeah. We need to do the three tasks. But just to make 100% sure we're safe, we're going to move these things. I know, he's not even interested. Good. Grab the ribbon. Pull the goose away. Hide the body. Oh, come on. Hide the body? Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, Take this over. That might be a bad idea already. Alright, we're already we're staying in the statue position so we can put the rib so uh she can put the ribbon on us and then we have a ribbon on. Now we need to figure out free tasks. Actually no, that's a pretty easy. Thinking back. Alright, we have an easy job. Oh nice, he's going uh he's gonna drink his tea. That's actually really good. Because drink spit. That's a task. So, one. We grab the newspaper, we go away. We hide for now, because if he sees us with our ribbon, he'll try to get it off of us. So best just to hide and do nothing. <gasps> oh. Okay, he saw the vase. 
Oh, that is not what you want. Uh, please go back and put on your shoes. Oh, really? You? <clears throat> How'd you nice see me? Look. The leak is falling out of dimensions? No. <laughs> Alright. Have Fat Guards Man throw 20 items over the fence. Bring the radio to a high street ra radio. <gasps> we gotta hide. Actually. Wait, is that 20 different items or di diff uh, same items? Don't tell me you see me. Go away. Go away. Go away. Uh, he did see. He did see you, and he d doesn't care too much. All right, put the shoe away. Go drink your tea. Ah, uh, this is this is not how it wants. It. He's gonna read the newspaper, isn't he? Damn it! Yep. All right, we're gonna have to plan whatever this is. Try and <clears throat> can you try and steal his? Uh, where's his cup? It's right next to him. Oh, okay, it's right there. Yeah. Uh, the, the reason why we take away his newspaper is because the animation is so long. No! <laughs> why? Of all things, grabbing the newspaper. Oh! Uh, oh! 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 The newspaper deserves to be down here. All right. Not like this. Squeeze, we're hiding. So now, hopefully, you with your hawk eyes, how can you see that? Alright. Finally, grabs the teacup. He's gonna drink the tea! Yes. The man's barefoot, and that's three tasks done. Wait, which one am I missing? Uh, oh, Let's dress up on. Oh, wait, yeah. Wait, she didn't put this thing on? Ah, uh, well. How updated is your Switch? In any case, estimate is coming up soon. Oh boy, oh boy, this is not. <laughs> She's not interested in it? Oh, there we go. It's, it, it's not hers yet. You need to drop it first. Ah, uh, yeah. If that makes sense, at least. Yep. Alright, that, please. Yep, that's it. Perfect. Uh, okay. I need to think fast. Alright, she sees that. Uh, alright, alright. Oh, not like this. It's, def it's definitely the, what do you call it? The slogan for this game, because if something goes wrong, it goes wrong. Pretty, pretty fast. Bring the radio to the radio. Okay, you know what? Screw it, we're doing this. New plan. Uh -oh. Column two. <clears throat> Column two. Oh. Throw 20 items over the fence. I'm presuming it can be the same item again. And then bring the radio. That's not hard. Oh man, he glitched. Oh. No, don't show him that. He gets... <laughs> uh, so that's two. Does the vase count as two? Because it breaks into two. <laughs> he, do he does the animation once. I'm sorry. Damn. So that's three... <laughs> oh. Okay, I see a plan in action. Mm -hmm. A rescue plan, as it may. Yeah, one, two, three, 
He <laughs> drops it over. <laughs> Five. Uh... I love how gracefully he just threw over the, the bra. Why is there like a sound of something always being rubbed against the floor? Is there? Yeah. Grab the sock. There we <laughs> go. Oh, I found out. Alright, let's go. <laughs> so, six. Seven. Eight. <laughs> nine. Uh, not Tina has here. Uh... Roger. Grab my socks. Eleven. <laughs> oh, oh. Tina, no, please, not the sock. Thank you. I lost count, but I'm, I'm counting on you to not lie. But I believe Just it. Alright, alright, uh, that was 16. 17. 18. Uh, no, that one would be 18. Then he would throw over 19. Just need one more. Just walk over. You need to go back to the thing anyways. I was- oh, I wanted to clip through. Alright. Alright. 20 things. Okay. Over. Go, okay, go, 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 go. Two minutes max, I think. This won't take long. Oh, I could go this way. Hold on. Yep. Faster. Yeah, you should. I reckon the radio is still at the picnic. Yeah, so we have to go all the way down there. While oh. you're at it, can I talk about an incentive real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Um, so we have a music bingo coming up where we will be creating music according to the genre that you uh, will choose in our bid war. We have four available. We have Vaporwave, Lo-Fi Hip Hop, House and Trap. And as it currently stands, Vaporwave is in the lead with $100, followed by Lo-Fi with 11 and House with 10 but you still have the time to change that. So if you prefer a different genre and you want to see that one during the bingo, feel free to donate. Everything goes to charity. And we already had music bingo last time. It was really, really great and really chill and awesome. So make sure to stick around for that one. Thank you. I think this would be time, right? Oh no. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Wrong radio. Wait, what? There's, there's a radio in the shop. Ah. Oh. Wait, where's the radio in the shop? In the shop. In the shop. Alright, alright. Bring the guy out. Oh, no. Out. Sorry. Not in her shop. Oh, her shop. Whoops. <laughs> alright, and time, I guess. Okay, actual time now. Doesn't <laughs> matter. Doesn't matter. I'm so hey. sorry for hey, going hey. a little bit over it. <laughs> alright. We did it. <laughs> but you're not... We're not done yet. We have any person. Yeah. yeah, again, thanks to your graceful donations. We're gonna have nothing of the weird RNG stuff. This is all execution. And I'm sure that Snowdog can definitely do Whoa. it fast. Bring up, bringing up my past okay, here. so, uh... <laughs> real quick again, I'm, I'm just gonna say something in here. So, uh, we're currently sitting at a total of $1,705. Uh, the total amount for Bingathon Summer 2020 was $2,069. That's about $350 to go. If we achieve that until the end of the marathon, then my fellow main organizer, Pikastroff, will do something. We don't know what he will be doing yet, but... He will be doing something, and that's certainly going to be interesting. So, uh, yeah, 
do know that all your donations go towards a great cause. And now let's enjoy some crazy goose in action. Oh boy. Are we going to reset the timer for this or just go head on? Because I guess uh, I can just go. All right. So. Yeah, we reset it for you. All right. Good. Thank you. Uh, so, any percent time starts here on first honk. Uh, so, uh, with three, two, one, go. So, we began this I'm trying not to do any glitches, but we're gonna turn this game upside down. So, our wonderful boot, we need this. This is the <clears throat> one of the most important things in this game. Oh, for Here sure. For everyone that has played until Goose game and hasn't seen a speedrun just yet, uh, something happened. Oh, I've never seen that before. Oh, there we go. Only on Bingo Fun, you see that. Only on Bingo Fun. Nice. Only here. Only during Bingo Fun. <laughs> Not for. Oh, I can't oh. do this now. Thank you. Coming up. <laughs> yeah. And then Jesus clip isn't working. Oh, there we go. Goose doesn't want to be Jesus today. I think we called it Jesus because it's walking on water. Yay! Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh the camera switched. It's gonna be... Alright, walk away from the camera. Sorry. So, one instead point. of... Who? Yeah, instead of one point, we found out that instead of going all the way through, or even clipping through the, the second area, the uh, third area, sorry, we found a way to go into the last area, which is by clipping through this fence. Somehow it teleports you up as well. Hello, Mr. Old Man. <laughs> now, to get to the next, wall? yeah, to get to the next area, we need to clip through here because there are invisible walls everywhere that you're not supposed to go. In front of that gate over there, in front of the gate that we normally clip through, there are invisible barriers that we just can't go through. Even clipping is really, really weird to do. So we have to go around all of those. And then now we're at the castle. Wow. And instead of uh, doing it down the normal way, we can just levitate all the way up there. Because flying is fun. So at one point in any percent, you would get far enough in the game to unlock the bottom fence down, uh, down right, where you can just clip through that. But... With currently any percent, you can't do that. So instead, we're gonna have to do some <laughs> fancy movements, and we're up. Oh, that was fast. So we're gonna bring the old man over a bit. We're gonna go. Give him a little bit of fuse. This is the hardest way. part of the run: not getting there, and getting the bell, and getting back. No, getting out of pub. Ah. Uh. An old man likes to be annoying because whenever you pick up the bell, the whole world changes. Every NPC has a different uh, AI put to them. Oh, no. So instead of doing their thing, it's, oh, I want to grab this bell and put it somewhere. Well, our, at least we got it through, but the goose oh. didn't go through. So we need to do another strategy that was a part of goose history, where you use this plate. Oh. Yeah, find the right it's better. Goal. It's better to clip with the bell, but if that's not possible, then this is this is a good backup. Just don't lose the play it itself because you'll be locked in. Oh come on, nah. Actually, you you won't be locked in there. So you don't want to levitate, but you want to. <laughs> this is a hard. What? Why is the plate just flipping? All right. So. We're we're trying to Oh boy, this is difficult. Why do hey, we do this? You are doing great so far. <laughs> People only watch the beginning, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, if you oh. want to know what Untitled Goose Game any percent is all about, this is it. It's not fun. It's just trying to go through walls, okay? Please do real categories. Join the pain. Don't forget <laughs> to get the bell. Yep. I needed the plate. 
All right, we're getting there. Whew. <laughs> okay, if you're if you're really going fast, instead of going, uh, yeah, getting the fence down and going through it, even though you did it like really nicely, the fence would still be up. So the another hard thing would be going for this fence. But fortunately, we don't have to do it because it's Luckily. not interesting to look at, and it only saves so much time. And time is coming time. up. Oh. <laughs> you, you're slightly on the delay. <laughs> yeah, I'm like five seconds delayed. Oh well. Alright, GG. GG's. Thank you. Sub, sub 5. That is good. Yeah, it's a high <laughs> right? Sub 5. <laughs> oh boy. Well, yeah, that is Goose Game, a horrible mess that we love. Uh, yes. <laughs> No, no, for real, please. There, there are better uh, categories, but bingo can be fun if you do something like a triple bingo. There's a lot of uh, things you could take a look at. What about uh, the multiplayer that they have added? <laughs> oh, more Ooh, that, of a mess. <laughs> that, makes, that makes even better. I've actually done uh, multiplayer runs together with Fundor. Mm -hmm. When were we doing Goose Bingo? Oh, we should do that sometime. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Well, we're looking forward to that. Oh, yeah, that's something for future <laughs> bingo thons. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure, sure. <laughs> oh, I'll join this set. Let's go. <laughs> All right. All right. Do you, do you want to say anything before we switch over to the intermission? Uh, uh, I'll say thank you, Vic, for being here. Because I don't know what much I would have said. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, everyone, for watching this. All right. Thank you very much for running, and thank you very much for commentating. Coming up next, we've got the Wii C Wii Yes Bingo. Uh, that's gonna be hype. Uh, I hope you're looking forward to that as much as I do. And yeah, we're gonna be setting that up. And we'll be right back after a short intermission. Thank you, guys. Well, well. <laughs> what? Hi. Oh. What? Flaw. Cool. <laughs> While we're waiting for the we bingo oh that was terrible um we have a ten dollar donation from rom rom 21 saying road to 2k go 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 and we wholeheartedly agree with that thank you very much we 
Sorry, that's my best Wii impression I can do. Okay, Fall now can uh, talk about the Wii series that he wanted to talk about. Yeah, uh, if, if you look if you look up to the left in here, we've got uh, uh, one of the runners uh, has sent us a screenshot of all the Wii games he's got. Uh, sorry, of all the Wii games he got. And uh, yeah, that is quite a lot. And that's not even all. Should should we list them all? We can, can we? list them all. Yes, you mean? But we? Every, every, every time, every time we list them, we get to do the we exactly. <laughs> all right. So, starting from the top, we see we sports. All right, and then the next one is we? fit plus, and then it's we music. Next up, I see Wii Party, followed up by Wii Play, and then it's Wii Play Motion, and the next one. What is that? That's chess. No, that chess. It's Wii Shuff. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> well, it technically says that, right? And after <laughs> this one, below we have Wii Sports Resort. Oh my God, that's the best Wii I've ever, <laughs> I've ever heard. <laughs> that's like that's a Mario level, Jesus. Um, and the, the last one is uh, Wii. No, that's a bad. That's a Wii fit you, which is uh, really cool. That's uh, that's a pretty impressive uh, list of games. Yeah, it's uh, gonna be really interesting. Uh, so make sure to stay tuned for the Wii. See, Wii. Yes. Bingo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I get a hop off. On here, uh, I'm. I have attack shift to attend to. Uh, Leaving us shift. like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but what do you mean, Flo? You can, you can, you can multitask. You can I can, I can multitask. I All right, I, I can multitask. No, please go. You've been, <laughs> you've been doing so much this marathon. It's. Uh, it's crazy. But if, if anything doesn't work in tech now, I will wholeheartedly blame Floha. Of course. Yeah, that's, uh, but that's a good thing. You know what the thing is? Unfortunately, I was never able to blame anyone during Wingothon because tech always worked flawlessly. How do they <laughs> do that? Hmm. Mm. Maybe you're just simply not awake for the tech issues. There should be some sound of, you know, these like uh, cica uh, like cicadas in the background or whatever they're called in English. Mm. Chirping. Yeah, chirping, exactly. Thank you. Right. Um, so, out of all the runs that we have left, what are you looking forward to? That in you know apart from we of course serious. well the the, the we runs they are uh, absolutely something I definitely do not want to miss um, I have to say though um, we still have something very special coming up uh, if I am not mistaken mm -hmm. that is the Pacific music bingo where we can still decide the genre because we have four genres available to choose from house, lo-fi hip-hop, trap, or vaporwave. Currently, vaporwave is at a big lead of a hundred dollars, uh, followed by lo-fi lo hip-hop at twenty-one dollars and seventy-three cents. By the way, so if you want to uh, change the drawer, you have to chip in at least eighty dollars towards lo-fi hip-hop. But don't worry, that money is going to a very good place. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, 
going to support our charity of choice for this Pinkathon Winter 2020, which is Fat Hutch, and their research for um, COVID vaccine development, which is, of course, very topical and very important and something um, we really, really need to deal with, SAP, pretty much. Um, mm. So, yeah. You still have some time to change the way that incentive is going to play out. And you are supporting something really great and really worthy. And we are very grateful for everything that you've donated so far. We have raised already uh, a, a whopping sum of $1,715. And that's like, we are so happy about it. We're so, so grateful to everyone. We absolutely are. But you know what? Yes. Last year, no, not last year, this year in Bingothon 2020 in summer, mm -hmm. Bingo, hang on, let me rephrase that. In Bingothon summer 2020, we rose um, a sum of 2,069 nice dollars. And I have heard, word has come to my ears that the organizers Floha and Pikastrof are going to do something extremely special if we beat that total donation sum of 2069 nice dollars from this year's summer bingothon so if you want to see an extremely special performance by our two um I, I wanted to say Bingothon Masters, is that correct? I don't know, I don't care. But the two Bingothon main organizers, you should consider donating now. It's not just a great cause, but it's also going to blow your mind. And you don't want to miss that. I mean, I don't want to miss that. I, I would donate the 300 missing dollars on my own just to see what they're going to do. Because I am bursting with curiosity. But I'm sure I'm not the only curious one here, so um, please. Folks, go and beat that donation to some of summer 2020. I can't talk. I'm sorry, but I hope I did motivate you a bit. Woo! Wee! <laughs> I mean, if um, if Floa and Pikastrof set to do something, they do it at a an, at an epic scale. That's for sure. We That's remember the all the things from previous bingathons that were beyond everything. And if I think that this time they will go beyond the beyond. So you gotta, you, you want to see that. You do really, really want to make it happen. And again, uh, if you want, I don't know, I can um, talk a little bit more about the charity so that you know more what exactly uh, Fred Hatch uh, does. Um, so they are leading massive international vaccine trials as part of the US government's Operation Warp Speed, a monumental effort to test, develop and distribute safe and effective coronavirus vaccines in record time. And they also have opened a clinical research center that is a unique regional hub for observational studies and clinical trials for emerging treatments. So they're doing some really fantastic work. And um, yeah, this is, this is really worth supporting, I think. I'm sure you agree with me. I, I wholeheartedly agree. I mean, we all know the, uh, you know, uh, the, the way we are impacted by this global pandemic and all these sorts of researchers, all the, this research is helping all of us it's not just like it's not just the the bingathon group that are benefiting from it but it's literally the whole world and yeah. we all want to get back to i, I just you know stacy i recently i i uh, went grocery shopping yesterday and i wondered hey, I, I barely remember what it was like to go shopping you know without having to put on a mask and without the the um the store clerks being behind um uh, glass, you know, and, and everything, uh, mm -hmm. and, and only a certain number of customers allowed in the store. I, uh, First of all, I have to say that I do agree with these sorts of measurements. I think that is a good idea in this uh, situation, but I thought, hmm, I, I barely remember what it was 
what it was like when you could just, you know, not wear a mask everywhere and when you were just, you know, not needed to to take distance with everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, I've read a lot of people saying that when they watch movies that were made some time ago and you see and they see and there is a scene with a lot of people in it standing very close to each other you kind of get this uncomfortable feeling as if something is wrong and um, i yeah i understand where they're coming from totally i think yeah it is a it is a very peculiar I'm that is happening right now to say the least of course and very tragic in many many ways for many many people so um it's very important that we bring our efforts together and find a way to solve it pretty much as fast as we can and as soon as we can because the, the scope of damage that it has caused and uh, how much it has penetrated the lives of so many people and families in you know the worst way possible is really really devastating so we we are doing what we can and i know that everyone is doing what they can and the all all the support that people are showing uh towards our charity during this event is really humbling and really um i i i don't really know how to describe it's really it's really amazing to see so yeah thank you everyone for it, it, everything that you do yeah i have to agree that kind of uh, restores my faith in humanity it's uh really heartwarming to see all the support and you know if you want to help out uh, the donation button is just below the stream and every single dollar goes directly to the fred hutch research and don't be afraid if you if you can't afford a big donation it's okay. I, I know that we are all struggling a bit to meet ends uh, uh ends meet at this at, in these times i know that many jobs are affected but if you can you know spend just even if it's just a single dollar, that is, we are very proud of you. And this is already making a difference. I mean, I'm proud of every viewer, but I am also proud of every donator. And no matter how much they donate. Definitely. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, that's a pretty serious topic too, that we talk about and I, I don't I don't really know how to move from it without sounding insensitive in a way. Mm. Well, I think we have to focus on the on the I won't say the bright sides, but on the on the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm. Um, especially uh, you know regarding the charity that we're raising funds for. And um, you've heard the news that uh, the, there had been several breakthroughs in the vaccines for, um, for uh, COVID-19. So I think um, we just need to hang in a little longer and we will make it out together. But every bit that you can chip in to help uh, will accelerate that very process. So just focus on the hope that we keep inside of our hearts. Isn't that right, Stacey? Yes, definitely. All right, perfect. And with that being said, let's get and cheer up a little bit for the amazing Wii game collection. Bingo, I'm super excited to see this. So yeah. let's uh, continue our marathon and let's enjoy the rest of our event. We don't have that much time left and we have so much in store for you. So take it away, runners. Thank you.